Today's video can be replacing the ABS sensor on the front wheel hub. I already did one side, so now I'm going to record the other. And here's your ABS sensor, and it saves you from having to change the whole hub assembly, which saves you a lot of money. So let's go ahead and replace it. And this is where we're replacing it for the C0035 and the 40. The recommended replacements are either the wheel hub assembly or the, just the sensor. Luckily these are able to replace just the sensor itself. And there you go. Once you have the vehicle jacked and on the jack stand, go ahead and take off this cover for the wheel. Nineteen millimeter lug nuts. The axle nut is a 35 millimeter. I have an impact. If you don't have one, you're gonna have to loosen this when the wheel's on the ground with the big breaker bar. Now we're gonna take off the caliper. It's a 13 millimeter nut on top and bottom. Now the caliper mount has two 21 millimeters. Now to move the axle, to loosen it up from it being just friction stuck on the, on the hub, I have an air chisel or air hammer or whatever. And if you don't have one, just get a punch and a mallet. And you can go ahead and manually uh, loosen up that axle. Now we're going to go ahead and pry the wiring harness. Now we're going to remove the upper ball joint from the knuckle, which is a 21 millimeter nut. Now with it bottomed out, we're going to go ahead and hit the knuckle and it'll separate. I have a six millimeter hex nut holding the ball joint from spinning and I'm gonna go ahead and take off the rest of the nut. So now with the upper ball joint loose or disconnected you can go ahead and punch the axle through. And now that the axle is pushed back, now we can get access to the mounts for the hub. Now we have four 15 millimeter bolts holding the hub on. You can get this bottom one with a socket and extension and angle this, like lift the bottom of this and get an angle from over here. But if you have these offset wrenches, it's very beneficial. Now to take off this bracket, it's a seven millimeter bolt. All right, now we can go ahead and take off our hub. Now we're gonna go ahead and mark where the sensor is relative to the hub. Just gonna put a little Sharpie mark. Okay. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and try to pry it out. And there you go. You can see it's fully seated. Now we're going to go ahead and put in the dust shield back in. Online, I'm reading that the the hub mount bolts are 96 foot pounds. The nut torque online it says 37 foot pounds plus 90 to 110 degrees over. The torque for the mounts are 129 foot pounds. Torque for the caliper is 31 foot pounds. We're going to bottom out the axle nut with the, with the impact and torque it. The axle nut torque is 191 foot pounds. Alright, I forgot to record the the wiring routing. Well, you got a bracket down here, a push clip in here, one up here on the forward side of the shock, one on the back side of the shock, and the last two that hold the connector. You should just push together and then you push in. And that's how you replace an ABS sensor on these Chevy Colorados and or GMC Canyons. Hopefully this video helps y'all. Y'all have a good one.